Ah, you've arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. I have no doubt, Master. This is an important mission, and I only entrust the finest. Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. Sir, I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear conscience. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And to you, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally, but I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. By all means, go ahead. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. Maybe I'll have time to do something about that. Something tells me your presence here will leave an indelible impression on the state of things. And I look forward to it. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. Quinn owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Kars Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? Of course. I remember everything. Good. I'll get to the point. My spy is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylon. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylon to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. I'll handle anything that dares to get in my way. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate. My lord, I mark your progress and see that the charge is armed. I will detonate once you are a safe distance. But first, I have Darth Barris on hollow for you. I will retreat and leave the line secure for the two of you. Apprentice, we have one more potentially compromising thing to take care of before you can confront my spy, Commander Rylon. It involves invading a Republic keep to find a lowly ensign named Dermot. He is Rylon's son, and the Commander confided his true identity to him. Ensign Dermot must be silenced permanently. Maybe the son can be trusted. I don't leave loose ends, and all indications are that Rylan's son is a very loose end. I'll signal Quinn to give you the details. Be swift. My lord, Ensign Dermot is being detained in the break of the Republic Crater Outpost, awaiting questioning by the mysterious agent Barris has been tracking. I will alert you if the investigator appears to be heading there. I assume you wish to get to Dermot before she does. You assume correctly, Lieutenant. Then I won't delay you any longer. Good luck on your mission, my lord. I'll be here if you need anything. Pipe down, Dermat. There's something going on outside. 
trying to listen. Oh, come on, Six, throw me a bone. Who's this agent that's coming to interrogate me? Uh, At least answer me that, will you? Fine, fine, stay clamped. I don't care who it is, I ain't talking. Nobody's gonna get nothing out of me, nothing. Mm. What? Oh. All right, all right, I ain't proud, I give. My dad's an Imperial agent. What did you say? Your dad is a what? Yes, please repeat that, Junior. Oh, oh, oh no. This is a restricted area. What are you doing here? Who are you? It's not a who. It's a what? It's a Sith. He's going to need a new pair of pants. Who cares what Dermot needs? You gave me enough time to get what I need. Ugh. I have a very bad feeling about this. Take a look behind yourself, Sith. That's what two squads of the Republic's finest looks like. Order them to yield, or you're all dead. Surrender? You're surrounded. Come on, men. Let's send this Sith home in a body bag. Zix? Zix? Come on, talk to me, Zix. Get up, man. Zix can't hear you, and getting up is a bit beyond his skill set right now. And I'm next, right? Please, please, I, I know why you're here. The, the Republic, the Republic's investigating my dad, and, and an agent's coming to put the screws to me. But I won't break. I promise. The, let me live. My, my dad's secret is safe with me. I'm, I'm a rock. You'd crack the minute someone looked at you funny. I just heard you confess to Zix. Yeah, but he's, he's dead now, so he, he can't tell anyone. My father's done so much for the Empire. Look, may, maybe the apple fell off the tree, I, kind of far from the tree, but it's still... Look, the apple's still... Look, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure where I was going with that, but please, please don't kill me. I'm willing to consider alternatives. Is there another solution? Hold on. Hold, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just had a thought pop into my head. Just quick, before it pops out. My assignment here was in the medical lab, moving supplies and, and making deliveries. And the docs there were working on something really cool. It, it was a drug that was supposed to create temporary amnesia, but it wiped the mind totally clean. The test subjects didn't even know their own names. Tell me more of this. You, you, you could break into the lab and, and bring back the drug. I'll overdose and, and not know nothing no more. That way my dad's secret identity's safe. Tell me where to find this drug. The med lab's in the back building. The head doc kept a small supply of the drug in his footlocker. I'll, I'll wait right here. Look, I have a choice. Let's see, and then there was a time I almost shot myself in the foot. That was a close one. What else? Oh, you're back. I was just recalling my life, trying to remember the highlights since I'm about to have my memory wiped clean. I think I'm done. Not much to reflect on. So, did you get the drug? I'm actually looking forward to starting over. Try not to screw up your new life. At least if I do, hopefully it'll be in new and more exciting ways. Here goes nothing, I guess. is inconsequential. Who are you? I... I have no idea who I am. Do, do you know? Can you tell me? Don't let anyone tell you who you are. Goodbye. Oh, so... Well, so long, then. Thanks for stopping by. Wow. Too bad there isn't more of that drug. I got a few memories I could let go of. Should I take that personally, Vet? Of course not. I'll never be able to forget you. Let's move on, shall we? I must be honest. 
Your success at the satellite control station and Republic Crater outpost has surprised me, my lord. I computed the likelihood of success as nearly negligible. In my assessment, however, I only considered the capabilities of a typical Sith. Clearly, you are not a typical Sith. I will adjust future calibrations to account for your unprecedented abilities. Don't worry about it, Quinn. I take pride in accuracy. Otherwise, I'm no good to you. Lord Varus is pleased. He says it's time to zero in on your prime directive, and he awaits your contact. My barracks are yours. Activate the hollow communicator in the next room to speak with Lord Barris. The line is secure. You have been most helpful. I'll be right here if needed, my lord. I hope you can see the smile on my face, apprentice. You are turning me into a true believer. Wait a minute. Let me pinch myself. I'm sure you're impatient to complete your time on that little rock. With the satellite tower computer destroyed and Commander Rylon's son neutralized, my spy's tracks are covered. Now the only threat to Rylon ever being exposed is the man himself. It's time to end that threat. Permanently. Do I have a choice in the matter? I like that idleness makes you disagreeable. Just be sure to give Commander Rylon an honorable death. It's the least we can do. I've had him embedded within enemy ranks for decades. The extent of his contribution to the Empire's interests is unrivaled. The man is a hero. Pity he has to die. He has always known the risk. The Jedi Investigator must have no hard evidence that Rylon was killed to silence him. It must look like anything but a targeted execution. Annihilate everyone there. Sounds like overkill to me. Your objection is noted. The order remains. I've summoned Lieutenant Quinn. He'll prepare you for your final task. Your final target is the Balmoran Arms Factory. The Resistance forces recently captured it and made it their headquarters. An incursion into the Arms Factory will be a monumental feat. I'm excited by the prospect of you laying waste to that place. A Sith craves adventure and excitement. This mission promises both, my lord. All right. The Republic Command Center is deep inside the Arms Factory, the most heavily protected installation on the planet. In order to reach Commander Rylorn, you will have to make your way past all of the factory's defenses, which are considerable. The tougher, the better. Stationed inside are an estimated 1,000 of the Republic's best trained soldiers. Specifically, Rylorn's elite squadron is responsible for some of the most precise, improbable resistance victories on Balmora. They're legendary. Sounds like you admire them, Lieutenant. I've marveled at their tactical exploits, that's all. It will be a bright day on Balmora when they are eliminated. One final thing. The investigator that the Jedi sent has been concentrating her activity around the arms factory. I have her under minute-by-minute -minute surveillance. If she becomes a problem, I'll contact you on your comlink. Sounds like a plan. I'm on top of it. I will be here to salute you when the Balmoran arms factory is a smoking husk, my lord. The factory is under attack. Headquarters has been breached and casualties are severe. Keep your wits, Captain. What do we know of the enemy? Target is carving a bloody path in this direction. Unconfirmed reports suggest it's Sith. Consider them confirmed. Commander, contact confirmed. The enemy is Sith. Repeat, the enemy is... I can see that, Captain. Shut up. Sith, I know why you're here. Be aware that these are the finest troops I've commanded in all my decades of duty. Consider me warned. Captain Elegant, engage at will and hold the line. I'm coming with reinforcements. Right on out. 
You're about to find out what we're made of. Uh, I may die of boredom. We're not gonna let boredom steal our kill. You're not very funny. I'll have time to laugh later. Men, attack! The commander. He should have been here by now. It wouldn't have made a difference. This means he's safe. That's all that matters. Please, enough of this. Commander, no! Run! Save yourself! Just put him out of his misery, Sith. Before I end his suffering, I want you to tell him the truth about you. Commander... What? I don't understand. I'm sorry, Captain Elgin. All these years I've been a loyal soldier of the Empire. No. I... Can't believe... It's unfortunate they were on the wrong side. They were excellent soldiers and exceptional men. Why didn't you convert them to our cause? I followed Barris's orders to the letter. Recruitment was never my purpose here. I serve for the glory of the Empire, but the life of a spy is a slippery one. In essence, I had to become a Republic soldier, and I've done things against the Empire that have sickened me. But for the greater good, Commander. I have lived believing, hoping that was the case, my friend. Today was inevitable. I knew Lord Barris would eventually have to eliminate me. But I'm proud to have been of service all this time. I'm honored to be the one to kill you. Before I embrace my end, there is one thing I must know. My son. He was the only thing in the world that was truly mine. And in love or weakness, I told him my secrets. I, I know you had to cover my tracks, but please tell me, did he face his fate well? His chin was held high, Commander. Then I can die with a smile. When they find my corpse, there must be evidence of a valiant fight. We must make this look convincing, Sith. So I will not hold back. I will fight you as though you are my mortal enemy. It will give me no pleasure to cut you down. Our duty is often difficult, friend. Tell Lord Barris it has been my great honor to serve him. My lord, I believe we've got trouble. I heard your entire conversation with Commander Rylor. You have my attention. I told you that I've had the Jedi Investigator surveilled and that she's been snooping around the arms factory. Apparently she bugged Rylor's quarters, and as she listened in on your conversation, I heard what she heard. The Investigator knows everything, my lord. Where is she now? She was heading to her ship. But I had my men move in and cut her off from the Republic landing bay. I am systematically blocking her avenues of transmission and escape, herding that Republic scum to her only hope. The spaceport at Sobrick. How does she expect to survive an Imperial spaceport? My men report that she's wielding a lightsaber, my lord. This investigator is a Jedi Knight. Unless you stop her. She's more than capable of fighting her way through the spaceport and commandeering a ship. I'll be able to delay the Jedi long enough for you to engage. But I advise caution when facing her. Being careful is what got us into this mess. I see your point, my lord. I will gather my remaining men and meet you at the spaceport. We will crush this Jedi. Ah... You're too late, Sith. I already transmitted the conversation between you and Commander Rylon to the Jedi Council. Noman Carr has his proof. Now Master Carr and his Padawan will track down and expose every Sith agent in the galaxy. I'll let you enjoy your delusions. Enjoyment is not part of the equation. I have purity of purpose. I seek neither thrills nor satisfaction. Unlike you, I am calm. How incredibly boring. Living an enlightened life is anything but boring. 
The dark side shall fail you, Sith. Save yourself, surrender, and the Jedi Council will give you every opportunity to discover redemption. I offer you the chance to surrender and live, Jedi. Surrender is not possible. I am in the right. I won't kill you, Sith, but I am leaving. So, I'm going to have to incapacitate you. Your victory means nothing. The damage has been done. The proof has been transmitted. So deal the death blow, Sith. I am at peace, knowing that the greater good has been served. I hate to burst your bubble, Jedi. No, that's a lie. I'm reveling in it. I intercepted your transmission. The Jedi know nothing. You just earned your pay, Lieutenant. I'm only doing my job, my lord. I had her monitored and screened the entire time. There was never any risk at all. Gloat all you like. It means nothing. I remain at peace. And Noman Carr and his Padawan will still defeat you. Tell me the name of Noman Carr's Padawan. I will never betray her identity. I am resigned. Strike me down. I offer no further resistance. You are subdued. There's no sense in destroying you. I will take the wounded Jedi into custody, my lord. Your lightsaber, if you will, Jedi. Men, escort her to her new home in the main prison. I'm sure you know what you're doing, my lord. But sparing the Jedi is a curious choice. A Jedi investigator will be a wealth of information. Of course, my lord. What matters is the threat has been averted. Lord Barris will be anxious to learn what became of this. When you're ready, I'll contact him from my office. I will be there soon. Excellent. I'll go prepare. I'll be waiting in my barracks. It's not my place, Lord Barris. I leave that for your apprentice to convey. Then step aside, Lieutenant. My apprentice has arrived. Nice of you to join us. Quinn refuses to update me, insisting the privilege be yours. I assume the Jedi Investigator has been stopped. She is no longer a concern, Master. That is a relief. I had hoped to avoid confronting the Jedi, but our hand was forced. What matters most is that Rylon can no longer be exposed. And how would you assess Lieutenant Quinn's contribution? Lieutenant Quinn is an exceptional officer. I couldn't have done it without him. High praise indeed. Quinn, I believe you have sufficiently repaid the debt owed to me. I'm putting you up for a captaincy and transmitting an executive order allowing you to station wherever you choose. You are dismissed. Thank you, Lord Barris. If my actions benefit the Empire, they benefit me. I would have done the same regardless of our past. My lord, before I depart, it's been my extreme honor to serve you. You are the epitome of everything the Empire stands for. The honor has been mine, Lieutenant. Until we meet again, I salute you, my lord. He will have his hands full. There are powerful Imperials dedicated to keeping him down. But if Quinn can overcome them and rise to the station he deserves, there is great hope for our Imperial allies. If given the opportunity, he will excel. By the way, it's not worth worrying about. Quinn's affairs are a speck compared to what we face. Your presence on Balmora is no longer needed. Return to your ship when you're ready to leave. I'll contact you there. So, we're leaving, right? On to our next exercise in domination and destruction? I only dominate and destroy as a last resort. Yeah, right. You must have a short list of resorts then. Well, I hope the next place we end up has a beach. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining... Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. 
Noctrian was the most famous killer in the galaxy, but he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Nock. Or maybe he just had something Nock wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves and told them they could join up or go their own way. I'm surprised he allowed a child to make that kind of decision. He was like that. Never once talked differently to me. Not sure he really understood kids. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. It must have been hard for you. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? My lord, I hope you don't find my appearance here obtrusive. I beg an audience. Begging does not become an officer. Pardon my word choice, my lord. I will speak plainly. As you know, Lord Barris enabled my reassignment anywhere I choose. It is an evolution I've longed for and assumed would never come. Aiding your mission on this planet has reawakened the ambition I began my career with to make the most profound impact possible for the Empire. Welcome back to life, Quinn. That is how it feels, my lord. I cannot think of a more glorious and honorable way to make a difference in the galaxy than to serve you. I'm here to pledge myself to you. I'm ready and willing to serve in whatever capacity you see fit. An intriguing idea, Quinn. Yeah, I'm so intrigued I could yawn. You always keep me laughing, Ved. My lord, if given the chance, I know I will prove myself to you. I'm a top-notch pilot, military strategist, and a deadly shot. I can fly this ship, plan your battles, assess your enemies, and kill them. You won't find a more tireless and loyal subject. I offer my military prowess and dedicate every ounce of my strength to your cause. I would be pleased to have you, Quinn. The pleasure will be mine. Thank you, my lord. I will submit my reassignment papers as we depart. Prentice, I see you are ready to put Balmora behind you. Good. The elimination of Commander Rylon grants security to my spy network, but there is still more to be done. It's always work, work, work with you. When all this is over, there will be time to relax. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. My lord, I have settled into my quarters and fully acquainted myself with the ship. I am at your disposal. You don't have to be so formal, Quinn. I am more at home saluting than shaking hands, my lord. And even more in my element behind the helm. I am fully trained in all aspects of operating this vessel. I can navigate and pilot it to perfection. Get to your station, then. Right away, my lord. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. I fully intend to, my lord. Your demeanor makes me tense, Captain. Work on loosening up. I see. Actually, my lord, I don't see. Is that an order, or are you testing my professionalism? You're a lost cause, never mind. 
Sorry to have disappointed you. Permission to speak freely, my lord. You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Then you are to be commended. That's not how the Moff saw it. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine. But then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this Moff. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now. I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. <laughs>